Hey! Everybody get up! Everybody get up! Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to Anita Vita Rides. All right, everybody. Welcome. It's Anita Vita Rides. Anita Vita Rides. Yeah. Anita Vita Rides. Yeah. Anita Vita Rides. Yeah. 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 Who can make you better? I need a Vita Rise In all types of weather I need a Vita Rise Get you back together I need a Vita Rise Go send her a letter I need a Vita Rise I need a Vita Rise I need a Vita Rise Yeah need a Vita Rise Yeah, yeah. I need a Vita Rise Welcome to Rise with Anita Vita. I am your host, Anita Vita, master medical Qigong teacher and healer. I'm so grateful and thankful you're here for another amazing episode. As you know, this show aims to amplify women's voices, have them share their stories so that they are a ripple effect of healing in this world. I'm so excited to be kicking off this new season, being in Miami for Miami Swim Week, you guys, it has been such an honor and a blessing to be able to bring this series to you all. And as you know, I'm going to bring on some amazing women who will continue to inspire you, to continue to motivate you, and continue to add to your story and see how you can also amplify your voice in this world. So the way we're kicking off Miami Swim Week this week, the events don't start till July 14th but we are here early so that we can get to know the amazing designers. So today's episode is an amazing woman. She is the CEO and founder, creative director of Remnant Bikinis. She is an amazing woman, former nurse. So y'all are gonna get to know so much more about her. Please help me welcome Lily Toth to the show, everybody. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, so good to be here. Thank you for coming on. You look so beautiful. Thank How you are you doing? Me. How are you doing? This is so exciting for you to have your show. And I know um, people are going to want to know all the, all the things. So would you let everyone know a little bit about yourself and how you even like how you even come from doing nursing and to now doing design, creative directing and building your amazing business? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, Miami Swim Week has been my dream for a very long time, probably at least four years. And that was way before Remnant Bikini started. So I'm here now, and it is incredible, overwhelming in all of the good ways. Um, it's only like day two of me being here, and I'm already meeting so many incredible people like yourself, um, get to go to all of the fun events, you know, so Miami we Swim Week is just incredible. Um, let's see. Let me tell you a little bit more about my brand. Um, so Remnant Bikinis, um, we are quite young. We're only two years young. Um, we primarily focus on sustainable swimwear. Not primarily. We are sustainable swimwear. Um, so our swimwear is made out of ghost fishing nets that are pulled out of the Mediterranean and are recycled into really high quality soft fabrics. So I take those fabrics and I create swimwear that um, is accentuating and just very flattering. Um, kind of the backstory of this all is I had a really hard time finding swimwear that is um, flattering and something that basically I couldn't find what I wanted on the market in like among sustainable swimwear. And so that's kind of like where the idea came from. Um, but yes, I started with nursing um, a long time ago. I've been a nurse for eight years. Um, I still do nursing per DM. Um, I work at UCLA in LA, and it's an incredible place to be. Um, 
I started with nursing and I loved it for four years. I did cardiothoracic ICU. So we did heart and lung transplants, devices, all of that. Then I went on and started traveling. Um, and after about four years in nursing, you know, nursing is an incredible profession, but you get to see people in really um, hard situations and people always talk about their lives, um, especially in the ICU, you know, when we had transplant people that would talk about what they would regret in life, I always had to kind of step back and think about well, what do I want my life to look like? Um, and what am I missing? And what am I, what else do I want to do? So after about four years in nursing, I like felt that there was so much more that I want to do than just medical field. Medical field is incredible. It's an incredible profession. You have the job stability, you're changing people's lives. But I felt like I was lacking a creative aspect. So I went on and I started traveling the world because that was one of the things that I really wanted to do in life. And I was like, okay, if I were to die tomorrow, what is it that I'm going to regret? Um, so I started traveling the world. I traveled for about a couple of years. Um, I went to a lot of countries. I went by myself mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of went on exploration, I guess, of what is it that I want to do. Um, and I fell into photography, um, fell in love with photography. Um, and I spent a lot of time in beach towns um, and tropical places. And so swimwear has always been a huge part of my life. This is like the ocean is where I feel the most at home. Like if I'm by the ocean, every all is well, you know, and there is just some healing that comes with the ocean. There's just a different peace of mind that you get when you are anywhere, wherever there is water. So one time I, um, I'm a little bit of a nerd, <laughs> so I read a lot. And um, I stumbled on this article that talked about um, the nonprofit that pulls out fishing nets out of the water um, and then recycles them into um, fabrics that are really high quality. So I ordered the swatches and I kind of, um, I was really stunned because the swatches were of an incredible quality. You could never tell that the fabric is recycled um, and that like 80% of that is like recycled content. And so I went to bed and the next morning I woke up and I had literally an idea. I was like, I have to do swimwear. I really have to do this. Um, and so I sat on that idea for about a year. Um, and mm -hmm. then after a year, I, you know, after going through more of nursing and seeing more people and just kind of like wondering, what is it? What is life about? And what is it that I want to do? Um, I started Remnant Bikinis. So um, it's been two years um, and it's been an amazing journey. Um, and I kind of ended up in Miami Swim Week very last minute, um, very last minute decision. And I'm really happy I made it. <laughs> Um, I met Art Hearts Fashion in LA this year, and I had an opportunity to um, do a runway with them. And they all, the entire staff was like, Lila, you have to come to Miami Swim Week. I'm like, you guys, this has been my dream, and I'm not doing this last minute. And they're like, we're all here to support you. Come, we'll make it happen. And so here we are. <laughs> and we have a runway show hey. on Thursday. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. Um, yeah, I guess um, I have a lot to my story, but you know, that's the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh, you dropped so many gems in just that short share that you've given us. And I've got to tell you how, how much I admire your, your inspiration behind the journey of travel and recognizing how to, you know, you land on this article that inspired mm -hmm. you to take action, right? Because I always talk about, you know, you can get an idea and the inspiration mm -hmm. behind is the action you actually take. Because, right, because now spirit is pulling, like, or that voice inside yeah. of yourself. To Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's I, courage. Right? A lot of courage, regardless of, and, and in doing so, not knowing what the outcomes will be and that's huge and that's so inspirational even for me because 
I know we can get into our heads about, well, when am I going to do this again? Nurses, right? Yeah. (laughs) Especially, you know, I worked in the ICU and similar to you, I'm like, I'm burning out, this, this, and that. If there's no creative outlet, this is for anybody across the board, not just nurses. If there's no creative outlet that you have, it will stay out of you and you're going to wonder why you're feeling so unfulfilled. Yeah. And here you are with travel, you know, that this beautiful story of, I think I'm going to do this. Okay. I think it's time now. It's been a year. <clears throat> and because you ran with it, everything's yeah. just dropping in your lap, right? You're manifesting so quickly. I talk to this about my, to my audience all the time. It's like, mm-hmm. when you find the joy inside of what you are doing, no matter how your circumstances look like, you'll be surprised how quickly the blessings come. And now here's your dream two years later to walk the runways of Miami fashion week. Fired you are patient, your patients. Like it's amazing. I'm like vibrating over here with so much. I love so it. So I know, you know, I I know. Right now. <laughs> see what's possible. You guys, when you, surround yourself and take time for yourself because you traveled by yourself yeah. to really find yourself in how you want to leave this earth. And I'm going to go back to the question that you asked yourself, which is super empowering, which is if I were to die tomorrow, what would I do? What would, what should I be like? What am I, what should I be doing? What do I want to make sure I've accomplished for myself? Not anybody else. And that's so yeah. important. So yeah. I want to hear more about your mindset behind the creation of this beautiful line, as well as how that ties into even more story. And before we do, I'd love to just say thanks to the amazing sponsors of today. And we will be right back. What's up, family? I am Anita Vita, Master Medical Qigong teacher and healer. I believe that nurses deserve to be nurtured as much as they give. As a high-performing woman myself, I coach women how to overcome chronic gut pain so that they have total freedom in their life through the practice of medical Qigong. In 2011, while working as a nurse in the post-anesthesia unit, I experienced severe burnout and it expressed itself as IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. Discovering this practice allowed me to eradicate this gut disease completely and naturally through meditation alone. The slow mindful movements of medical Qigong are potent and transformational recalibrating your cellular structure by cultivating your body's natural energy and healing source called Qi. Today I coach and empower women to achieve the same result through private and group programs, workshops and retreat experiences to awaken you to your truth and be the highest version of yourself. If you're still in pain, you've tried everything and you're sick and tired going from doctor to doctor with only prescriptions and strict diets as solutions, fear no more my friend because you have found me. Send me a message right now at anita at nacionvira.com and we'll get you to rise out of that pain guaranteed. Mafe Management is a company dedicated to empowering individuals and businesses in PR and marketing, social media management, online show and podcast production, business consulting, graphic design, photography and videography, workshops and classes, events management, personality development, logo creation, illustrations, and animation in working together to turn their dreams into reality. Get one step closer to elevating yourself and your business by contacting hello at mafemanagement.com. Let us empower you. So what was going in your mind when you finally made that decision that this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna, I still love nursing. I'm still going to keep doing nursing at the meantime. This is my dream. Yeah. And I know I can do it. Did you ever see that? So did you come from a space of always believing in yourself or are you constantly practicing 
Mm. to keep going? Mm. You know, there's a little bit of both. Um, I think when I was younger, I was the daredevil that, you know, knew that I could do anything I really wanted. Um, as you get older and you really get to know the world a little more, I think you kind of step back a lot more times and you have a lot more rationality. You know, when you're younger, you're like, ah, I have no idea. I'm so oblivious to the world. <laughs> Um, so it is a little bit of both, um, you know, your vision and you know that you can do it and you look back on your life and you think about all the things that you have been able to accomplish until now. And that helps you believe in yourself and understand. I mean, I come actually was born in a foreign country. I came here on my own. I have gone through so much in life and I've become a nurse and all of these things. That's my story. And I knew that. I can absolutely do this. One of the reasons um, I started swimwear, it's not only because I couldn't find the right fitted swimwear that is sustainable and earth kind and people kind, um, but also because I, in my own journey, have experienced a huge internal transformation as a woman in who I became and who I wanted to be. And that had to do with obviously body image and who I am and what do I look like to the world and to myself. You know, um, 2022 is not the easiest place to be a woman with all the social media and things coming at us. As humans, we compare ourselves to, you know, things that we see online and other women and you we live in LA and I mean, you know, LA is the place where you compare yourself all the time. So I think every single woman goes through image issues, you know, and how do you see yourself and what is your self identity? So what I wanted to do is to empower people and empower women specifically and how they see themselves. And what I wanted to communicate is that you can fully love yourself and you can fully accept yourself and only from that place are you able to lead a fulfilling life um i believe that you know everything comes from within and that includes happiness um i mean that sounds super cliche but um you know you can't find fulfillment from outward things no one can give it to you like not a thing not a place not a person not money, not fame, no nothing. Um, so if you're not happy about who you are, um, you're not going to find that fulfillment anywhere else. And so you have to figure out what is happiness to you and what does that fulfillment look like? And for me, it started from being able to love myself fully, love my skin, my hair, my everything, you know, and that transformation happened um, way before I started Remnant Bikinis, but I had to go through it. And I saw, I saw a lot of women who really struggle with that. And it's so sad. And it's so unfortunate um, that that is happening in the world. And I wanted to tell people and tell women that they can love themselves fully how, for who they are. And so Remnant Bikinis, was started, yes, for sustainability and promoting, you know, taking care of our planet because our planet takes care of us, but also taking care of ourselves and our bodies. And what we wear ultimately is a part of our image and who we are. When you put on a certain thing, it makes you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, and that includes swimwear. And I found so many women struggling with swimwear, I hear comments all the time. Oh, I don't look good in a bikini. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not skinny enough to wear this. I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not that, you know? And so I spent countless hours, actually months developing every single style because a bikini is not just a bikini. A cut in the bikini is everything. It can either make you look horrendous or it can make you look gorgeous and beautiful. So swimwear is just a very tiny piece of it, you know, but it is a part of your, a part of how you feel and a part of who you are with anything that you wear. So swimwear is just natural to me. So <laughs> that's why I went into swimwear. Um, you know, that's all I really care about because I live in a bikini. But um that is kind of where all of this came from, just wanting to 
express how it is possible to have freedom in your body and freedom in who you are. And with that comes so much peace. When you have self-acceptance and self-love, there's so much peace that comes with that. There's so much happiness that comes with that. And um, you don't have to live in a prison, you know, of your own mind. And so, yeah, so that's kind of what, where I started it all. And um, I'm so excited to see where we will be in a few years and how much I can develop this story and tell women that they're gorgeous and beautiful and that they can find love and freedom and peace and satisfaction and fulfillment. Wow, that is such a beautiful share. And as you know, from a, a woman to another woman, I understand what you mean about body shaming and like, like those words for ourselves. Like, why do we do that? Why do we talk so harshly mm -hmm. on with ourselves? And it's, it's like, you have to put things into perspective. And sometimes we have to talk to ourselves the way, you know, like, how would I have wanted to talk to my, you know, yeah. that's how, I, that's how what brings me back to perspective of like, would I talk to myself the way I talk to my niece? If I'm telling her she's beautiful, can I do the same for me? And I know it's such a journey and every woman goes through that and it's never ending this healing aspect of who we really are and letting the outside express from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, that you chose swimwear. And I got to, I, to be honest, even packing for this trip. So even for me, it took me, when I saw Kachita, she invited me literally two weeks out, maybe two and a half out. Like, you, you want to do this? You know, she's so supportive, right? Yeah. And, and the first thing that I thought of was, what am I going to wear? Mm -hmm. As I'm not this, you know, this, that, or the other. I'm not this size. I don't mm -hmm. know what's, right? These, yeah, these absolutely. trending, like, who cares what's trending? Like, wear something that you feel most beautiful in. And I'm so glad in getting to know you. Lily, in this moment, as well as the other designers I'm going to be able to talk with who mm -hmm. are using swimwear now as a, a source of body positivity, mm -hmm. self-love, self-acceptance, all of those qualities you just mentioned is so important because from a magazine, we don't know that. And I, I love that through your swimwear and how I'm seeing it is like you are educating through it. And it's so amazing to see, and you're modeling that for all of us. And I just wanted to say thanks on behalf of every woman who's going to be so excited to hear your story and what's possible and even possibly dress them. Cause I'm even thinking, I'm like, who now I'm so grateful to be watching and seeing what's on the runway. Cause I'm not familiar with all of the things of fashion week either. This is like my first time. And mm -hmm. I'm like, now I know even for myself, what is going to make me feel beautiful and who can I um, support in that way? Cause I know that it hits all of my values too. And now I'm representing a brand that is, is fully in alignment with me. So I'm excited to see your show. I can't and, wait. Um, it's going to be so fun. 2023. Um, so let us know how do we get in touch with you? How can we support you? What do you have going on? Absolutely. Um, 2023 is going to be huge. Um, we're obviously coming back to Miami Swim Week. So mark your calendars. We will be here. Um, we will probably do LA Swim Week as well. Um, there might be a conversation about Ibiza. Um, so we're just kind of expanding and growing. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, it's just at remnantbikinis.com. Um, or at Remnant Bikinis on Instagram, and our site is remnantbikinis.com. Um, you will see all of the announcements. We're constantly posting everything that we're doing. There's going to be some collaborations. We'll probably do a ton of pop-ups. Um, we're located in LA, um, in the South Bay, so we'll be doing a lot of local event events as well. So anyone is welcome at any time. So you can DM me as well. I'm always looking through all of the DMs and Instagram, so I'll see it. And I reply quite often. Um, but yeah, there's a lot in the works. Um, but um, I don't know. Um, I can't even 
I guess, begin to explain how many events are going to be happening. Um, but yeah, if you just follow us, you will know. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sure you're going to get a whole bunch of ladies connecting with you. And I'm so glad I didn't know you were in, in my hometown. I'm not too far away from South Bay either. How fun. Where are yeah, you at? Yeah. I'm near like El Segundo area. That's oh, okay. oh my God. We're almost neighbors. <laughs> so, so good to know that. Um, how, last thing. What does it mean for you to rise? And how do you do that? How do you demonstrate that in your life? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing for me every single year is to define what happiness is to me that year. And usually it has to do with becoming more and more authentic to who I am. Um, and what is it? what does it mean for me to be fulfilled? And what is the year that I want to see in my life because I don't want to regret not doing something when I die. Um, I wanted to chime in and kind of say something about Miami Swim Week that is very relatable to what you said. You said when you were invited by um, Kachita, mm -hmm. uh, you didn't know what to wear. That crosses every woman's mind and it crossed my mind as well. And there's this big expectation of what Miami Swim Week is, especially when you see everything online, you see on Instagram, on YouTube, everything seems so glamorous and so hard to reach or so far out of reach for most people. And so there's this intimidation that comes with that. I want to say that when I got here two days ago, I have a completely different feeling of what Miami Swim Week is in all the good ways. I feel like it's a big family that is here to connect and here to celebrate each other. I've had so many designers reach out to me and I've never expected that. They're my competitors, but they're giving me their contact information. They're connecting me with people. And I feel like that is the spirit of Miami Swim Week. Online, it looks very intimidating and very fashion focused, very you know, glamorous, something that most people may not feel connected to. But that's not what Miami Swim Week is at all. The spirit of Miami Swim Week is so much more human than that. People are so welcoming and so kind and so much more, I can't even, just human is, is all I'm going to say. So I had those thoughts as well. And once I got here, I haven't thought about that for a minute. Yes, of course, it's fashion and fun and you're supposed to be, you know, dressed up and all of that. And I'm still doing it. My hair is curly <laughs> because I'm going to an event right after this. <laughs> but, you know, that's, I just wanted to say, so link that to what is rise to me. Authenticity. It is who you are. Mm -hmm. Remembering that there's only one of you in the world completely cliche, but it's so true. And you have to live out your truth and, you know, bring your best and bring who you are to the world and be completely okay with that. None of us are perfect. And so, so yeah, that's what rise is just loving yourself fully because then you can love others. Beautifully said. And I'm glad that you added to what Miami Swim Week really means because you're right online. I can't tell what really goes behind the scenes of what it could stand for or the spirit of it. And so I'm glad that you're sharing that. And that probably goes across the board for all fashion weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, absolutely. you know, why, why I, I'm sure a lot of women feel like, well, I don't really belong there. I didn't do fashion. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. fashion trend, you know, I'm not, I don't have yeah. the fashion sense, et cetera. And so now that you are redefining what that can be like, I can imagine and I'm excited for the diversity of the people that's going yeah. to bring this, yeah. not just this, you know, fashion week, but um, Miami swim, but those that follow and moving forward because of designers like you. So thank you. Thank you for having me. It was such a pleasure. You're most welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you so much again, Lily. And um, I look forward to seeing you in person. Yes, so soon. I will see you in a few hours, probably. <laughs> We're probably going to the same. No. <laughs>
Thank Sounds you. good. Thank you for having me. It was such a pleasure. You're most welcome. I'll see you soon. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. Wasn't she amazing? It's such a different vibe when I'm doing a series in a whole other place. Being out here in Miami has just given a whole ton of energy, a whole outlook on, on what the representation of podcasters can be doing. And I'm learning so, so much. And know that tech issues is never are never ever going to stop me. You will always have a show. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys continue to follow and support Lily. Go and check her out. She's going to leave all her information. We'll put it all in the show notes, actually. And stay tuned. Support her show. Support her mission. And know that every time you tune in, that you will always be inspired by another amazing guest. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. And as always, I root for your rise. See you next week, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah, I need to be in her eyes.